Now, we record to two different types of media. We have an SSD drive, which is mounted to the PIX. It's mounted to the PIX via this, what we call the PIX caddy. Okay? We decided to take this approach instead of um, sort of inserting it directly into the device. We took this approach for a number of reasons, but one of the key reasons is that the, the connector on a raw SSD drive is only spec'd for 200 insertions. Okay, so if you're constantly plugging in and out of your pics, eventually you're going to wreck that, and the reliability of your recordings could really suffer. So we decided that, no, we want to make a caddy where this slots into the caddy. There's a couple of screw holes here to hold it in place. And the actual connection to the pics is done by inserting the caddy, and there's this eSATA port just here, which is spec for hundreds of thousands of insertions. <laughs> and you just give it a good whack, and it's in. You don't need to uh, power down the picks to disconnect your drive or reconnect your drive. You can do that powered up. As long as you're not pulling and plugging the drive when the disk write indicator is shown. I have another thing about this caddy is that we have FireWire 800 and a USB 3 and an eSATA port on it for, cur for data transfer to any computer, fast transfer. We can also record to Compact Flash Card. So um, that slots in the back neatly here. And it's literally just a slide out with your finger. It slots in really easily, and you've got, we've got a cover which slides, which covers the hole to stop moisture getting into the device. We can also record via this eSATA port to an external SSD drive. So if you want to run it with a, an external enclosure, you can. Basically, to have control over the reliability of PIX recording and playback, there's such a diverse range of in quality of media out there on the market. We wanted to do the hard work for our end user and come up with an approved list of media, because not all media is the same. I mean, our tests have just shown that very few devices perform exactly the same way. And so it's essential to us that we're providing an answer to our customers about, we can guarantee that this media will work for you. So we have online an approved media list. This list you will definitely see expand. OK, now, one other thing I haven't touched on about the media is what is the disk format that we're recording on the media? We were, we were looking for a disk format that could be cross-compatible with both Mac and PC, but also could hold large uh, files. It wasn't limited to 4 gigabytes, which FAT32 is limited to 4 gigabytes, so it's not really suitable for video. And many of our competitors were using FAT32 and having to ending up recordings where end up having hundreds of split files on the disk, which is not ideal. So we wanted to look for a disk format that would satisfy the cross-compatibility between PC and Mac, that would work re readable on a PC or a Mac, and also something that could support large file sizes. And UDF seemed like the ideal format for us. And it works really well. You can have up to two terabyte file sizes, so that should be enough for the majority of applications.